So being a director of photography, especially for a group like Mountain State Overland, is one of the most rewarding things that you can possibly do. Uh, I really enjoy uh, telling a story through image images, and uh, it's really, really fun, especially when you get a lot of cool toys to play with. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you a couple of the things we use. So over here in John's truck, I have our uh, Sony FS5. So this is our main camera. It's uh, you know it's a decent rig. We have it set up to be a shoulder mount. It's got a, uh, a Fujinon 18 to 55 lens on it, which is a new Fuji lens that just came out. Personally, had never used it before, and this was the first time using it, and I was very impressed with it. You can get macro shots with it. It has a macro ring. Uh, you know, if you need to shoot wide, you can just zoom out, and if you need to shoot tight, you can just zoom in. Uh, the focus is very good on it. It's not, you know, it's not too big of a barrel, so you can grab focus easily. And then we put this this nice road shotgun mic on it to grab grab audio really well. Every rig has a GoPro Hero 5 directly underneath the rearview mirror, and that's for doing in cab shots of us and that's been really really useful to capture our story along the way when we're like in transit between between trails or on trails and you know when Peter starts telling us a whole bunch of information about something we'll click on those GoPros and just record the whole conversation in every car so you can see how people are reacting. Another camera we used is the the 5D Mark III, which is actually the camera Jason's shooting me with right now. That's a great pick up and go real quick camera if you need to get like decent, uh, almost behind the scenes style shooting. That's a really good camera for that. Um, you know, it does it does a great job. Shoots well in low light. We uh, we really really enjoy using that camera. We actually shot all of season three on the 5D Mark III. We also have a little camera called the G7X, which Jason looked up and found through vloggers. A lot of vloggers are using this camera to do like selfies and stuff like that and uh, shoot, you know, video blogs. It's fun to stick it in someone's hands along the trip and it can just jump from truck to truck and people can very easily just point and shoot it at their face and they can talk to the camera and show people what they're doing. So yeah, what we did with this little guy here, we just stuck him on this little Manfrotto tripod that works as a grip. And you can flip the screen up so you can see what you're shooting, but also can open up and be a tripod so you can set it somewhere and just record whatever's happening in your area. And you don't need all these different expensive tools to shoot your expedition and share it with the world. You can, realistically, you can go out with just a GoPro. You can just take a GoPro on a selfie stick, spin it around, shoot some B-roll, and that's a big thing. And a lot of people don't like to see just shots of you talking in your truck. They want to see your rig, they want to see where you go. So shoot a lot of extra B-roll along the way, which B-roll is just cutaway shots. Show your truck going through a trail. Show, shoot, you know, beauty shots of the surrounding areas, um, and then cut it together. We use we use Final Cut Pro X, but Premiere and uh, you know iMovie or anything like that. Those are all great programs to start off with. Um, you know, the more professional stuff like Premiere and Final Cut Pro X might take a little bit of getting used to and learning about but uh, they're very powerful, very powerful. You can get all kinds of beautiful cuts with those. This is my, this is my scientific genius madness. In order to keep it less messy and a little more compact and neat, this is a fully waterproof charging box. And no, it doesn't look beautiful inside. There's chargers everywhere in there, but they're all contained inside this box. You don't have them flying around the inside of your truck while you're going down the trail. We did have drones. We had two drones on this shoot. We had a DJI Inspire 1 um, with the X5 camera. And then we also had DJI Phantom 3 Professional. The DJI Phantom is a great, easy drone to learn. Uh, the Inspire 1 is, is a, uh, a little bit more tricky to learn and it takes a little more setup time. But the Phantom is great because you can just send it right up in the air, grab some nice aerial shots, and then put it away real quick. Not, not any real setup time involved in using it. And that's our equipment. Yeah.